Hi church family. Uh, if we haven't met yet, my name is Ashley and this morning's reading is from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bowls encompass me. Strong bowls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far off. O oh, you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall, bo shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn that he has done it with me. Lord God, we thank you for your word that you give that echoes 
to our hearts right now as we identify with David when he cries out to you in anguish and wonders whether you hear um, and he fights to remember your faithfulness and the way that you keep your promises generation after generation. Lord, we thank you that you see us, that you care for us, that you are not far off and um, uncaring to our struggles, that you have descended down to earth. Um, you are God in the trenches with us. You are God with us, Emmanuel. And uh, Lord, before this psalm had anything to do with our situation now, it had everything to do with you and your hands and feet pierced for our transgressions and uh, your bones unbroken and uh, as we fight loneliness in this season lord uh, we remember you on the cross and how you uh, were separated from your father in a loneliness that we will never understand or fully comprehend and you did that to bring us to yourself to bring us to the Father, to make a way back. And you have promised, Lord, um, that you will never leave us or forsake us. We thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. And we pray uh, in your name. Amen. I invite you to meditate on this psalm as you go through your day. It can be hard to uh, refocus with everything that's been going on, but... I'd invite you to sit and meditate um, on this psalm and on the cross. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.